I'm just rambling on here, I'm sorry. Don't read the question. Include the question in the answer. Gotcha. Legacy to me um, means, I guess, something that you're going to hand on to your children or your neighbors or hopefully to the future generations. And who do I want to influence with my legacy? I guess, hopefully, the operators that are out there that are running our systems to take another longer term look and say, how can we get our job done using a little less energy and, uh, and costing us a little less? That's the one thing that keeps our rates from going up. And uh, we've got all these pressures to increase rates. And the one thing that keeps it down is smart operators. And so my goal is to help the operators get better at their jobs. I, I don't see how it could not relate to water. There's only so much of it to go around and it keeps coming around and around. My education is in chemistry, basically did the analytical chemistry. Um, when I started looking for a job, uh, I looked in kind of the industry area and other places, and I ended up uh, doing wastewater treatment. You know, I've spent, uh, well, totally about uh, almost 50 years uh, doing wastewater treatment, process control, uh, developing wastewater uh, processes, uh, developed a couple of analytical procedures. Uh, currently, now that I'm retired, I spend a lot of time uh, volunteering for PNCWA, uh, doing committee work, and also for the Water Environment Federation, where I uh, have been involved doing uh, mop reviews, uh, manuals of practice reviews, and also uh, I tend to get pulled in to do uh, abstract reviews for various specialty conferences in the areas where I have expertise. So I, I guess that's it. I am here today to tell you about my water legacy. What gives me inspiration every single day to care about the water I use and the water for the future is my kids. Someone gave us this amazing environment we have to live and have clean water, and I want to give that same treasures back to my children and my children's children. So I always believe in the theory that you should give more than you take. And so just coming into this world and leaving in neutrality and having it be equal isn't enough. We have to do more. So we need to give back and do extra above and beyond. And that is my water legacy. Okay. Cut. Um, I consider my biggest contribution to uh, water and water environment has probably been um, the work that I've done in developing world, uh, developing third world countries, in particular uh, Nicaragua and Bolivia. In 2003, I had an opportunity to go to Bolivia and I was completely ignorant of the type of um, impacts that poor sanitation had on people's lives. And so I came back to the United States with a renewed passion to further uh, my career and my knowledge so that I can make a difference. And to date, um, my direct work has led to clean water and better sanitation for approximately about 7,000 people in Nicaragua and uh, Bolivia. It's directly attributable to the education I have, but also to the skills that I gained while working in this industry. And you know, I can think about all the projects and things that I've done up here in the Northwest over the years, and those are great things and they're meaningful, but while I was there, uh, a young child actually died um, from a waterborne illness, and that was very troubling. The biggest, most significant contribution is to make sure that, um, you know, you'll never have to see a kid die from bad water, and that's really 